Question 10.13. Questioner, could you state this in a little different way and how you empower this call? Answer, I am Ra. We understand you to speak now of our previous information. The call begins with one. This call is equal to infinity and is not, as you would say, counted. It is the cornerstone. The second call is added. The third call empowers or doubles the second, and so forth, each additional calling doubling or granting power to all the preceding calls. Thus, the call of many of your peoples is many, many powered and overwhelmingly heard to the infinite reaches of the one creation. Question 10.14 Questioner, for the general development of the reader of this book, could you state some of the practices or exercises to perform to produce an acceleration toward the law of one? Answer, I am Ra. Exercise 1. This is the most nearly sent and usable within your illusion complex. The moment contains love. That is the lesson goal of this illusion or density. The exercise is to consciously see that love in awareness and understanding distortions. The first attempt is the cornerstone. Upon this choosing rests the remainder of the life experience of an entity. The second seeking of love within the moment begins the addition. The third seeking empowers the second, the fourth powering or doubling the third. As with the previous type of empowerment, there will be some loss of power due to flaws within the seeking in the distortion of insincerity. However, the conscious statement of self to self of the desire to seek love is so central an act of will that, as before, the loss of power due to this friction is inconsequential. Exercise 2. The universe is one being. When a mind-body-spirit complex views another mind-body-spirit complex, see the Creator. This is a helpful exercise. Exercise 3. Gaze within a mirror. See the Creator. Exercise 4. Gaze at the creation which lies about the mind, body, spirit complex of each entity. See the Creator. The foundation or prerequisite of these exercises is a predilection towards what may be called meditation, contemplation, or prayer. With this attitude, these exercises can be processed. Without it, the data will not sink down into the roots of the tree of mind, thus enabling and ennobling the body and touching the spirit. Question 10.15. Questioner, I was wondering about the advent of the civilizations of Atlantis and Lemuria, when these civilizations occurred and where did they come from? Answer, I am Ra. This is the last question of this working. The civilizations of Atlantis and Lemuria were not one but two. Let us look first at the Mu entities. They were beings of a somewhat primitive nature, but those who had very advanced spiritual distortions. The civilization was part of this cycle, experienced early within the cycle at a time of approximately 53,000 of your years ago. It was an helpful and harmless place which was washed beneath the ocean during a readjustment of your sphere's tectonic plates through no action of their own. They sent out those who survived and reached many places in what you call Russia, North America, and South America. The Indians of whom you come to feel some sympathy in your social complex distortions are the descendants of these entities. Like the other incarnates of this cycle, they came from elsewhere. However, these particular entities were largely from a second density planet which had some difficulty, due to the age of its sun, in achieving third density life conditions. This planet was from the galaxy Deneb. The Atlantean race was a very conglomerate social complex which began to form approximately 31,000 years in the past of your space-time Comptinum illusion. It was a slow-growing and very agrarian one until approximately 15,000 of your years ago. It reached quickly a high technological understanding which caused it to be able to use intelligent infinity in an informative manner. We may add that they used intelligent energy as well, manipulating greatly the natural influxes of the indigo or pioneer ray from divine or infinite energy. Thus, they were able to create life forms. This they began to do instead of healing and perfecting their own mind, body, spirit complexes, turning their distortions towards what you may call negative. Approximately 11,000 of your years ago, the first of the, what you call, wars, caused approximately 40% of this population to leave the density by means of disintegration of the body. The second and most devastating of the conflicts occurred approximately 10,821 years in the past according to your illusion. 
This created an earth-changing configuration and the large part of Atlantis was no more, having been inundated. Three of the positively oriented of the Atlantean groups left this geographical locus before that devastation, placing themselves in the mountain areas of what you call Tibet, what you call Peru and what you call Turkey. Do you have any brief questions before we close this meeting? Question 10.16 Questioner, only one? other than what we can do to make the instrument more comfortable. I would like to have your definition of galaxy, the word galaxy as you have used it. Answer, I am Ra. We use the term known to your people by the sound vibration galaxy. We accept that some galaxies contain one system of planetary and solar groups. Others contain several. However, the importance of the locus in infinite time-space dimensionality is so little that we accept the distortion implicit in such an ambiguous term. Question 10.17 Questioner, then the nine planets and sun which we have here in our system, would you refer to that as a galaxy? Answer, I am Ra. We would not. Question 10.18 Questioner, how many stars would be approximately in a galaxy? Answer, I am Ra. It depends upon the galactic system. Your own, as you know, contains many, many, millions of planetary entities and star bodies. Question 10.19 Questioner, I was just trying to get to the definition that you were using for galaxy. You mentioned a couple of times the term galaxy in reference to what we call a planetary system and it was causing some confusion. Is there any way that we can make the instrument more comfortable? Answer, I am Ra. This instrument could be made somewhat more comfortable if more support were given the body complex. Other than this, we can only repeat the request to carefully align the symbols used to facilitate this instrument's balance. Our contact is narrow-banded and thus the influx brought in with us must be precise. I am Ra. I leave you in the love and the light of the One Infinite Creator. Go forth, therefore, rejoicing in the power and peace of the One Creator. Adonai.